Blessings, 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 blessings. I'm not gonna be on long, but I just stopped by uh, just to send some encouragement to mothers on today. Uh, today has been an amazing day. I thank the Father for uh, this day, on Mother's Day, and I want to personally, blessings, 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 uh, I'm not going to be on long, but uh, I wanted to stop by today, and uh, hey family, how you doing, to send um, encouragement, blessings, 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 hi Kwana. Hey, Apostle Bridget, how are you? Uh, I'll give it a few minutes and give a few people a few minutes just to come on. And like I said, I'm not going to be before you long, but um, the Lord laid it on my heart even um, early this morning. And I was telling my mentor, I said, I will uh, be going on a little bit later um, today. Um, just to encourage mothers. And so um, I had a reflection, and um, I don't know who this is for, but I know it's for some mother. And this is the first um, Mother's Day since 2013 that uh, both of my sons, if you follow uh, the testimony and the story, uh, of me with my sons. Um, I'm very, very thankful today, and I know that this is an encouragement from for some mother on today, but this is actually the first Mother's Day uh, since 2013 uh, that the Lord allowed me to live uh, and physically be able to see uh, the both of my sons uh, on this side of, of outside of uh, a cell and you know I my heart is out for mothers uh, or, or children who have lost their mothers um, I am praying um, for those who have lost loved ones but I want to encourage some mother on today that may find themselves on today, on this Mother's Day, with children who are incarcerated. And I want to tell you or be an encouragement today to tell you or any mother who may um, have lost their child or are feeling a heaviness or loneliness, um, being that it's Mother's Day and you're seeing all uh, blessings family, you're seeing all of the, you know, the beautiful pictures and everybody's wishing everybody, you know, happy Mother's Day and, you know, and, and motherhood is really, really beautiful, you know, but there are some uh, mothers that are out here on today that they don't have their children. Um, they're, they're uh, apart from their children, and they may be feeling the heaviness, even though they're celebrating and wishing, you know, all of us Happy Mother's Day. And I had a reflection of uh, the years from 2013 up until now. The Lord let me have a reflection of how it is to be without you know, your children on Mother's Day, you know, especially blessings, blessings, family, especially if you're a mother um, who love your children, you know, that you pray for your children, that, you know, you, you want the best for your children. And then you find yourself at a time like this on Mother's Day while you're watching all the celebrations of mothers going on and you're saying, Lord, you know, I, I, I'm a mother, but I'm missing my children. And the reason why I can say this is because that was me. 
Now, this may not be for every mother. You know, this may not be your situation. You understand? But my heart is heavy uh, for those mothers who are in this position right now that they are missing their children that are incarcerated. And they don't know you you have mixed hey hey family hey my brother how are you pastor uh demon how are you beatrice how are you how are you let me just say hello to everybody and i'll continue on hey una early how are you melissa hello angela how are you corner how are you blessings 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 on today and so i came on um today just to be an encouragement and strength you know of words of encouragement to that mother that find themselves right now with this moment longing for their child and their child is incarcerated or for that mother blessings who is longing for their child they may not be uh physically in a jail incarcerated but they may be out there on drugs or they may be out there uh in a in 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 this life that right now it seems like it's unreachable you know and as a mother you know this we're mothers every day not just on we thank god for this day that was allocated to us as mothers we don't take it for granted you understand what i'm saying but to that mother who is praying and believing god for the best for their children at this moment and they see it seems like you've done all you can and it just seems like you are the place of I, I don't know what to do you know my heart is heavy i long for my child or my children I'm talking to those mothers right now that it seems like that on this day you are at a loss. You understand what I'm saying? My encouragement to you is to continue to pray. Happy Mother's Day, Apostle Mercedes, Angelia. My encouragement to you on today is to keep praying to keep trusting God, like I stated. And I know I probably tell these stories over and over again, but it is a part of a testimony of me as a mother, you know, and you want to give somebody something, Lord have mercy. You said I'm really hurting because I'm missing my mother. She died on July 10, 2007. And there are some, some people who are missing their mother. You understand what I'm saying? And there are some mothers who are out here who are missing their children. You understand what I'm saying? And you watching the celebrations of all the mothers going on and you feel empty. I, I understand because I've been there. And that's why I'm coming on to encourage you today, you know, to give you strength for you to not lose hope. And I reflected, you know, and I'm just having a transparent moment. I was in my house and I just began to worship and praise God and thank God, you know, for this is the first Mother's Day since 2013 that the Lord allowed me to be able to see both of my sons and my, my younger son, he, he surprised me. You know, my husband and I, we were at the grocery store and he had called and uh, he had called my husband and then he turned around and he called and he said, Mama, where y'all at? Where y'all at? And I said, well, me and your dad, we at the grocery store. And he was like, I'm home. And he's working out of town in Louisiana on, on, a, on a job site. And he said, I'm off this weekend. And he said, Mom, I just wanted to surprise you. And he drove all the way from Louisiana and did a turnaround. Then my oldest son today, he came over with my beautiful daughter-in-law, my God baby, and my grandchildren, you know. And let me tell y'all something. I told my children, I said, y'all don't have to buy me anything. I say the best blessing that God gave me as a mother on today is to see you guys home. You understand what I'm saying? And above ground. 
And so I'm saying this to encourage somebody today. Keep praying. Keep trusting God. You know, the times that, that I was hurting for my children, can I tell you something? I, I, I just had to pray and I, I just asked God to fill those voids. And let me tell you what happened. And this will be a blessing to you as well, an encouragement to you. You, find, you will find yourself trying to be there for somebody else or somebody else's child or being there for another mother or being encouragement to them or being strength to them. And that in return, uh, it will give you a sense of, 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 of peace. It will give you a sense of fulfillment. No, it won't take away the fact that you miss your own children, but it will help in that instance because guess what? You are helping another mother. You are encouraging another mother. You are lifting somebody else up, another mother. You understand what I'm saying? And so that's why I'm here today trying to encourage another mother to hold on don't lose your faith. You understand what I'm saying? And then I also want to send a shout out to those spiritual mothers out there. Yes, you have a place to that, that, that you are nurturing, you know, your spiritual children. You are giving them wisdom. You are giving them guidance. You understand what I'm saying? I send a shout out to those spiritual mothers as well because some spiritual mothers may not even have biological children, but God has blessed them. Hello, somebody with spiritual children that you are nurturing. You are carrying them in your heart. You are pushing them out of the womb into their destiny. You're still fulfilling a mother, ro motherly role. So that hat goes out to the spiritual mothers as well. And to the spiritual mothers, we give a shout out to your biological children who allow you the opportunity to, to, to mother other spiritual children. This is the best Mother's Day. It's, it's, it's a good Mother's Day. And to those, let's not forget those who have lost their mothers. You understand what I'm saying? Even now, but have lost their mothers in the past. That's why I put up a picture because I have two sisters. They're, they're gone. Blessings. Happy Mother's Day to everybody. And then my cousin who just recently died, February the 14th. You know, I know that this is hard for her children because this is their first Mother's Day without their mother. You understand what I'm saying? And so I'm like, let me put up pictures in memory of them. You know what I'm saying? In memory of them. You know, because it's a hard time, it's a challenging time for many. Many people have lost their mothers. You understand what I'm saying? Many have lost their mothers. And let me tell you something. Mothers are precious. If you have a mother, hello somebody. If you have a mother, cherish the moments that you have with your mother. You understand what I'm saying? I thank God for my mother, One Nita Houston Gray. Let me tell you something. I thank God for my mother because she taught me how to nurture my children. She taught me how to not give up on my children. Why? Because she didn't give up on me and she didn't give up on my sisters, my siblings. You understand what I'm saying? And there are some other mothers out there that are good mothers. And let me tell you something else that I want to share with you. There are some mothers out there and we say, oh, they're bad mothers and, 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 you know, that they, oh, they're no good and this and that and the other. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. But can I tell you, there are some mothers out there that we say that are not good mothers, but have we ever went back to the history of what happened to these mothers in their early, earlier stages of life, that they may have been abused or raped or molested, you know, or, or in an abusive marriage or, you know, molested at a young age. Now, some people can survive that. 
you understand what God's help and come out okay, you know? And I, I, I tell anybody, seek counseling, seek some spiritual counseling. And if you have to get some counseling, uh, 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 in the, you know, other counseling, like a psychologist or, you know, counselors and all of that to help you with your healing, you know, get, tell somebody because it's a lot of mothers who are damaged and because they were damaged in their earlier life, they, you know, they, they, you find them being the same of the abuse that they faced when they were younger. And so that carries over to their children. They may be abusive. You understand what I'm saying? But if you go back to the history and really dig in this mother's life, somebody was beating her to death for torturing her, or she was raped or she was molested, you know, and then that, and she never got the help that she needed. And so what happens was that behavior went into her adult life so when she had children we call them generational curses and things like that that went over into her adult life and it affected the children that that god gave her that she birthed out as a mother and then you end up losing your children cps custody all kind, and even some children end up you know murdered and stuff like that it's a lot of things happen but let me tell you something initially as a woman and as a mother we are nurturing we are by nature god has created us we for, na for to be nurturing you understand what i'm saying we are nurturing that is really one of our we are loving and we are nurturing but situations can happen in our life you understand what i'm saying to get us in a place of not being nurturing. You understand what I'm saying? And I twofold, I'm encouraging mothers, listen, to not give up. And on the other hand, I'm 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 just because a lot of times people are not forgiving. And sometimes sit down and talk to your mother and find out what really 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 happened to her in a young in a younger stage of her life that may have caused her to have this outright behavior no we're not excusing it no we're not we're not excusing it but sometimes you have to go back through the history of that that woman's life your mother's life and to those who have lost their mother keep praying for them and some people say what well, the, the mother been gone 20 years you should get over it look my mother's still here i don't understand that part you understand what i'm saying so i'm not going to tell anybody how long that they need to grieve their mother we just can't do that what we have to do is just and keep encouraging them and speak encouraging words into their life. You know, we have to keep doing that. You know, we have to keep doing that. And that was on my heart from this morning, you know, and I was just so thankful. And I said, and I told my mentor, I said, Suki, I said, before the day is over with, I'm going to go on to encourage mothers. I'm going to go on to even encourage children. If you have a mother that's living, respect your mother, honor your mother. If you one of them children that say that your mother wasn't there and this and that and the other, forgive her and pray for her. And ask God to restore whatever it is that happened in her life to make her not be the good mother that she's supposed to have been. Because life circumstances happen. Some people are on drugs and they hide. They working, they doing fine. But behind the scenes, they going through all kinds of stuff mentally. You understand what I'm saying? So listen, I'm trying to encourage you. We got to pray for each other. We got to lift each other up. Motherhood is beautiful. 
being a mother is God's gift to us as women. Whether you are a biological mother or God has entrusted you with spiritual children, either way it go, it is a beautiful thing to be a mother. And I'm thanking God today. And I'm going to continue to pray for mothers. You know, I'm going to continue to even pray for the mothers that, that, that are in the position that I was in with my children. I told my sons, I, you know, to hug them. You understand what I'm saying? I'm like... Y'all just don't know. This is a great, no amount of money or gift tangible can replace the love that you have for your children. That's something as a mother that cannot be bought. I thank God if my children do something for me, I'm grateful. You understand what I'm saying? But to see them on this side free. Not dead and not in prison. I said, Father, that is the greatest gift I could have for Mother's Day in 2020. And that's why I'm encouraging some other mother. I don't care what it look like, whether your child is wayward or not. Mine went to prison. Two weeks apart, 2013. 2020 is the first year in seven years that I've been able to have both of my sons in the free world. And so for that, I still owe God to encourage some mother to not lose hope. Even if your children out there in the street and they wayward and they on drugs or something or whatever the case may be. Do not let anybody tell you to stop covering your children in prayer. Don't let anybody tell you to give up on them. Don't let anybody talk you out of a promise that God gave you. Blessings. Hey, my brother. Hey, Jacqueline. Hey, my big brother, uh, uh, Pastor Patrick Hines. Hey, Crystal. How are you, Jacqueline? How are you, Toya? And how are you, Pastor Cynthia? How are you, Beatrice? How are you? You know. Don't, don't let anybody talk you out of what you believe in the promise. As a mother, let me tell you something. As a woman, we are built for birthing. We can endure pain. That's how he designed us. That's how the father designed us as women. We were built for this. Whether you are a biological mother or you are a spiritual mother, even with your spiritual children, do not give up on them. They may bump their head. They may not do it the way we think they should do it, but let me tell you something. If you keep speaking and imparting into their lives, the truth and the word of God and showing love and compassion. Just like the prodigal son came home. So will our children. Whether they are biological or whether they are spiritual. Mothers, we are built for this. Hey, Shekinah, we are built for this. We are built for this. We are birthing out. We are birthing out. And can I tell you something? 
we birth through pain. Mothers, we birth through pain. It's a part of the process. It's a part of the process. So I want to continue to encourage you on today. Keep birthing through the pain. Keep holding on to the promise. Don't give up your faith in the Father concerning your biological children or your spiritual children. You keep covering them in prayer. And as one mother to another, the best thing that we can do from one mother to another is keep one another lifted up. Keep accountability to one another as mothers, whether we are biological or spiritual mothers. It goes both ways. Both ways. And in the accountability, what happens is we encourage each other in our frustrated moments. I want to give up moments. I want to throw in the towel moments. Our angry moments, our crying moments, one mother to another. And what happens is we begin to speak life to one another as mothers. Because it may be something that you as a mother may have more experience than I have in that particular area. And then it's my time that I'm facing this. And you as a mother say, look, this is what happened with me. I prayed. And these are some avenues that God gave me that helped me. And here are some resources as well. Here you go. I'm praying for you. One mother to another. We all need prayer. We all need encouragement. We all need truth in our life. And guess what? Even as a biological mother, even as a spiritual mother, I have not always got it right. There are some things that I had to learn in motherhood with my natural children and the spiritual children. And let me tell you something. Those things that you learn, God allows you to master them with wisdom. And that you pass on to your children. And that we pass on to each other. All right? So I pray that your Mother's Day is blessed. I thank God for your life. You continue to pray for me as I continue to pray for you. I love you guys to life. Again, I say Happy Mother's Day. Keep the mothers lifted up. Because even after our big day today, we still have to be mothers. And we're going to still need that strength, that love, that accountability, even after our big day today. And those who have lost their mothers, they're still going to need us one mother to another to keep encouraging them. And those that have children who are wayward or lost or locked up or even the loss of a death of a child as a mother. You understand what I'm saying? They're still going to need us one mother to another. We may not have experienced the loss and we may not have the exact words to say to them. But we can be a shoulder to lean on and we definitely can pray for them. And give them an encouraged word that God is your strength and that he is with you. You understand? Listen, have a Bless, bless Mother's Day from one mother to another, your sister.
Dr. Yo, I love you to life. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Enjoy the rest of your Mother's Day. Hi, Pat. Hi, Mary. Blessings to everyone. Happy Mother's Day.